What up? Tell the only here back doing some more League of Legends act. Shion. Playing some Malawi. You're against Skarner. Doing the Comet build. Domination. Oh, and he is. Huh. Ooh. Oh, I that. That's interesting. That hit me? From that far away? What? Oh, wow. Okay. Damn. What the fuck? I didn't realize it hits from that far. I mean, I know it hits from far, but like, that's like excessive. <laughs> Shit, I would have used it better when I played Skarner. Oh, wow. What a dodge, bro. Nice. I mean, it's pretty greedy to take E second. Usually you just take W second. Or you can take W first if it's a winning uh, early game matchup. Most do not tend to be, though. Generally gonna play a Lowry like relatively passive until you have level six. Ow. Chilling. I don't think I'm gonna try and hold the wave against him. He's got a boulder still. So. Noise. Hug this wall trying to hit E here. I actually can't believe you let me get that. That's kind of dumb. Nice. Auto W? Oh. Nice. Yeah, right here. Auto W. Right back. Beautiful. If you get all of this, I can pop another potion. Board down here. Emacs. I just walk at him here. Just like blind cue him. I mean, I guess he could still be in one of these bushes. What do I want to do here? If he backs and TPs. Ooh, Jarvan stop. I mean, I'm not sure if my teammate. Okay, he knows. Cool, cool, cool. Cool dub. I just want to show up this wave quickly. Preferably not die. Time to go. Oh wow. Gonna keep chasing? Okay. I mean, definitely play you could do. Okay. Oh, and just Janna rotating up. What the fuck are you clowns doing? Uninstall the game. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. The fuck? Sorry, we got a 3 CS lead involving. Beautiful. And this guy backed on top. Bro, this place sucks ass. Like, this is horrible. Don't do whatever the fuck this guy's doing. Unless this jungler is literally here ganking me in like the next, I don't know, 20 seconds or some shit. Like, this just looks horrible. Very strange. Hold the wave, bro. I just gotta play around their jungler because I'm assuming they're cringe. That causes the wave to push to me, but good try. Oh, the jungle is bought. Um, now I'm gonna push and try and get my level 6 before his. Yoink. Walk away. Pop a W. Noise. He's gonna ult there, huh? Fuck you, idiot. Annoying ass motherfucker. Bolts me, flash ease me under tower. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Huh. <sighs> Got him. Annoying champ, bro. Tier? 
Well, that's probably what. He has a uh, ingenious hunter, and he's going for a Fimbo Winter. Ah, that's cool. He's actually just doing an AP build. Oh. I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's good. If it is, I'm going to steal it. I mean, they're doing that, but we're getting dragons, so seems good. Seems good. I mean, they're they're here. You should be fine in the dragon, right? Oh wow! Their support is just like actually useful. I guess ours is like poking Ezreal on lane, probably somewhat underwhelming. Supports like all over the map, killing everybody. <laughs> Not killing anybody, just being annoying. Yoink. Dodged it. Beautiful. If you can dodge those boulders, pretty free. I think it's junglers here. Oh yeah, I forgot you could do that. I was like, where is he going to go in that corner? <laughs> That's smart though. I mean... This is just screaming. Gank. Oh, here's a shove. Not yet. Man, like, I, dude. Like, insane. Press the R key, bro. Like, what? Die to him. Oh, he never hit me. Cool. I thought I was gonna be able to kill it and get out. Killed. Dude, what is my fucking jungler, bro? Go back to AFK farming, bud. <sighs> RW under tower? Me? Yeah, I mean, I could have killed the guy by myself. 100%. Also, my jungler could have eaten the wall and then press Q or W. I mean, press Q, W, like literally anything. And then you ult. If the guy's not already dead, like he has no HP, I'm pretty sure he just dies with Q or W. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's interesting. Proxy against Kane jungle. Run through walls. Became the vessel. I just have to go slow, make it look like I'm leaving, because it buys time for this guy to cut him off. Go, go, go! What is he gonna do? He missed the opening. Dude, you're killing me! Alright. I have to kite away and then he. Wow, I missed. That's actually so bad. Oh, he's beasting? He's beasting? Okay. He's an animal, bro. The fact that I missed the E is the worst part ever. Like, I'd actually be able to get slams there. That was really, really, really bad. Also, Jen is level 4 and still rotating all over the map. This just seems pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it seems pretty bad. It's like an AP build, bro. I didn't ult over here. What? Somebody's TPing down there. Mid lane, obviously. Uh, jungle can come gank me. How do I feel about that? Not too good. I'm gonna leave. I don't think he has TP back. Mainly because he just used TP and then I killed him. So. 
Um. Hmm. I mean, I'm down just to get a little thick. Should probably get this and this though. I don't know. I guess I can go with Triforce here too. Get, oops, get spicy. That Yasuo play was pretty nice. Oh. Why are you running from this guy? Man, this cane is terrible, bro. <laughs> what? He's like running away from a dude who's like a quarter HP. Like you got ult and everything, what are you afraid of? Nice. It's actually probably smart now. One and four. Definitely can't lane versus me. I mean, he was smart last time he did it too. He just. When he left this area, he had to choose between running this way, which maybe he thought I could walk here and flash over the wall. They could be playing around that. But then I just like run here like I'm gonna get him and then look like I'm gonna leave so he thinks maybe he can go back this way. And just pausing allows this guy to close this uh, escape off. And then he also made a big play. And I missed my E because I stink. There's two ways to deal with the proxy, by the way. You can, I mean, if you have the correct champion combination, like Alawi's never going to go chase this Garner around to try and stop this. But say I was some champion with a lot of mobility, something like Riven, mobility and crowd control, right? If you have mobility and crowd control, you can probably go there by yourself and do it. But most of the time it's going to revolve around like you and a jungler. Are you in your mid laner? Are you in your support? You and somebody else rotating to kill that guy. Oh my god. Not far enough. Little baby arms. So that's way one is like collapsing with your jungler, but really requires having the right combo of people. Yeah, rotate on me again, Jenna. 0 and 4. Doo doo! I think I won this. I think this guy does. Oh, he's just fast enough. He didn't get hit there. I can still come over that wall. I won't see him. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Jenna? You died there with Swifty Boots and your passive? Hmm. Oh! So close, dude. Uh, I think I'm gonna go here. I almost sold the armor. It's not terrible because they have like no physical damage. It's gonna be magic damage that matters here. Interesting buy. Hm. Go like this. Could also just go Eclipse here. Could have gotten like Eclipse early if I wanted. I don't know. I'm just kind of building whatever. I make Alawi look like a monster. I mean, Alawi is pretty strong, but I also have like a lot of games on Alawi. Pretty honestly, kind of a basic champion. Once you understand, it's more of like a, it's more of like a setup. Like, do I have enough t uh, tentacles around? Did I land my E? Like, I think I could TP behind them. Oh, they're all five there. This could kind of be bad. I'd be trolling. One more W. Oh, no shot. Alright, maybe I do look make this champion look really good. Or they're like really bad and it all worked out. <laughs> okay. No boots makes Mike a sad boy. Very slow. Okay. The flash was kind of garbage. I thought they were going to do something different. 
Like, I thought there was going to be, like, people here, but they all actually just dove me. So I ended up, like, ult flashing and throwing my tentacles all the way over here. Because if you don't know, when you press R where you're aiming, it's actually where you spawn the tentacles. Like, it spawns the, the number based on how many people you're against, but they changed it a while back to the direction. is based on where you put your mouse. So, like I flash R over here. I spawned both my tentacles. They all jumped on me, so all my tentacles are over here now while they're over there. Makes the whole setup really weird. Why, hello there. Also, I face tank the E from Akali, which is no bueno. Likely has a ward in this bush. Oh, wow. That was pretty insane. I'll take that. Went for the gamble. No gamble, no future. Now you just want to set up in the side lane. Dominate. So again, our goal here is to get as many tentacles as possible, but the real key is to set them up in a way where you have like multiple tentacles hitting. You want to walk up against this wall. Once we have them set up, it's over. One shot that. Then the next thing I would do would be like walk over here, spawn one against this wall, and then like right here if I hit an E, boom, 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 four tentacle slam. Pretty much the dream. I actually thought I was gonna miss that cannon. Is it worth it to throw that Q in there? The Triforce prop? I don't know how long it's delaying my auto. The animation takes forever. Time to go! She's broken an A-Ram? Allow is? I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, he also just wins that side lane versus Karna. That's Karna build is kind of ass, bro. I don't know. But the guy had one nice play where he... I don't know, he didn't really play lane that wrong. He had that one... Oh, I thought that was somebody else. He had that nice play where he like ulted, flash e to me under tower and like I barely killed him. Play was kind of good. But like he had a tear and uh, a Doran's ring, so... <laughs> I can walk over there, they're just all gonna leave and I boot one. They wanna- Ooh! Arrow? Almost. Ooh. This is dead. You get slowed, you can chase that. I'm walking in like the worst ways imaginable. Oh my god, what do I do? Uh, I think I want to go top, clear wave, dragons up. Yeah, no boots is kind of killing me right now. I just keep backing with like enough to buy a full item. It's like, or I back with 300 gold, which isn't enough to buy anything. It's like, what am I doing? Can't just die under a tower. And then you never want your passive on CD. Or not on CD, rather. You're always trying to spawn it somewhere immediately. You have more tentacles up. I think I walk here. Oh. That's not good. As long as I have multiple tentacles around, I think I'll okay. Ooh, if I hit that. Just watching them on the mini map. Should be good to do this and leave. Finish our boots, which is not going to be a tabby. Probably just going to get like speed boots or CDR boots. We'll take the speed ones. Sell that. Hmm. I think I just wait for it and then teleport back somewhere. Yeah, that shield's actually giant though. So this is a W Max build, huh? Oh, no, no, no. That shield had this on it too. 
What are his AP ratios? I should TP. I think I should hit this and let him stack up Q's on the minions. Ooh. That landed. I would leave though. Yeah. Okay. Scarner. Wiki. Um. Here, let's kill this quickly here. Before I die trying to read. E? Is E has a 80% AP ratio? I don't know, that's his W I'm trolling. Yeah, his W has an 80% AP ratio. Oh, then his ult has 100%. An enemy has been slain. I mean, you can play him AP, I guess. I guess it's like kinda AP, like he's probably planning on going tank after one item. It's not really AP, I guess, I don't know. Huge though. Interesting. Like 180% as your AP ratios generally sucks. Unless you, unless those abilities are like insanely low CD, and you can just spam them constantly. It's probably not that great. But if you're only doing one item and then you're going tank after, it's probably fine. It's just he got shit on this game, so he got gets all of his tank items late. I think we did a reset here. We're we trying to just bully it. Do you have enough damage? Seems good. Uh... Not a terrible call. If they're like pinned to their base, probably fine. I'd like to find some plants though. Run her up. Oh, never mind. You have red buff. Okay, yeah, he's coming to ward this. I guess I can walk here and look at the E. Yep. I, mean, I get Owen. I don't really have tank. I need to split the damage. Yoink! Walk away, you. Oh, he missed my. Nope. Oh, I just reset. Maybe you can TP to that. I don't think I want to TP right now. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for probably like 60 seconds in the future. Maybe we might just win right here. Yeah. Yeah. Not even here to help the team. Not even contributing. Not even a double kill. For real though, fuck that Janna. Oh my god. Supports that like roam like that? I mean, it's, the reason it's so annoying is because it's generally kind of good. Like, if their bot lane doesn't, or if your bot lane doesn't get an advantage on them, which ours didn't, we were up 40, like 8 CS to, uh, like, or no, no, it was like 42 to like 48 or something. Like my bot lane had like a one wave lead. Like, it's so bad. Especially in like a poke matchup, like you should just zone Ezreal off and he doesn't get to touch any of the waves and then you freeze it. And then the fact that the gen is roaming is like terrible because you're roaming while your lane opponent is frozen against. Now, what you could do is like not roam until the wave is slow pushing to them. And then it's like good timings. But I feel like the guy was over roaming because at a certain point, Jenna came top with level four when my bot lane was level seven. So you might be roaming a bit too much at that point. But the first one was like pretty annoying because I would have killed the Jarvan. I would have just chased him and flash W'd him. He would have died. Like he was being super greedy, but I'm sure he was only being that greedy because he knew he had somebody behind him. But either way, 
I don't know. It's an interesting Skarner build. I don't think it's that great. You're probably better off just going tanky. Like you're you have you have insane bonus HP ratios. Like just build bonus HP. It seems just way better. You'll be tankier. You know, CDR bonus HP seems like the way to do it. Anyways, GG Uplate. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're watching on the YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching the live stream, follow the live stream. GG Uplate. Thanks for watching. Peace.